Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll just show you some tips that you can use as you are detailing your section or indeed any kind of detail within Revit. Now the tools that I'll show you can be used, you know, both in architecture and also structural, but I just want to show you how you can use it on a section like this one. Okay, so you are able to detail using the same tools that I'll show you, maybe something like what you are seeing right here. So if I just go to this model and see that this is the house, okay? And you can see that we have the topo surface right there. So let me just go to the floor layout. And I've just placed my section, which is this one. Okay, if I just open it or just double click the head. Okay, this is the one that I detailed, but the one that I, there are two sections right here, this one and this one. So we have the other one. If I just double click the head there, I see that it's not detailed. Okay, now, now let's go ahead and start, you know, I'll just show you some tips that you can use as you are detailing. So let's start how you can, we look at how you can start hiding the lines that you don't want to see. Remember in Revit you are modeling, okay? So for example, if I just over my roof there, you see that I'm seeing these lines which I may not necessarily want to see within my section here. So that there's a tool that you can use. Make sure that you just go to model right there, then LW on your keyboard or just click there, line work. Then from there, make sure that you pick invisible lines. You can pick from there and simply pick on the lines that you want to hide. You see that it disappears. Okay, so you can go ahead and pick on all the lines that you, you don't want to see within your model. Okay, pick on that one. You can go ahead and pick those. For example, if I don't want to see this one here, I can select on it, select on that one, just like that until you finish. Okay, this is tip number one. Let's go to the next tip. If I just open this section, you see that I have the, the wall plate right there. Okay, if I just select on the wall plate, you see that it's, a, it's actually a family. These are not simply lines, okay? So you can have these in your in your template so let me just show you how you make use of such you know these are detail you know detail items okay so let me just go to that view and just go to annotate there then go to component and click on detail component then from here under the properties i can just select there make sure that you load all these detail items okay and then if i just you know scroll down there Okay, I can check under the timber stud. From here, I'm able to pick. Okay, for example, let me pick 50 by 100. Select on it, and you see that that is the component. These are not lines. So this one will help you a lot to be fast as you are detailing. So I can just over there. Okay, I want my wallet. That's my wallet. If I just, you know, I'm just play, uh, pressing on my space bar, I'm able to orbit it like that, and I can place it there. Okay. Let me just turn off the thick lines, click there, then AL on my keyboard for align, I can simply align it from there. Okay, so this is how you can, you know, do your, your work plates instead of, you know, modeling the lines or instead of modeling the actual, you know, timber here. You don't need to do that. You can just use this, these detail items. So you can go ahead and now copy where you want it to be. Okay, so let me go back to the main section. You see that still I have the timber there. This, uh, this one, instead of just having a single, you know, component there, you can have timber. Let me just go to annotate right there and show where to find it. These are repeating details, okay? Those are not just single, you know, components there or detail items. So I can simply click on detail components, go there and annotate. Okay, and you see that they have timber stud, this one, vertical, you can pick anyone from here, pick on it. Now, once you do that, you can just click on edit type there, okay? You make sure that you duplicate, click on OK, say new name, then you can specify the layout rule, okay? I'll just leave the maximum spacing from there, you can pick, you know, different options, maximum spacing is okay. Then you can even specify the spacing from there, and you can even pick the detail item, I'm using a 50 by 100. So these are repeating details, then click OK. The other one was just a detail component for this one, okay? 
For my ceiling, if I just click there, you see that I'm able to place a number of them at once. Instead of placing one and then maybe trying to copy or maybe using the two there, or there's a tool there called array. Instead of using that one, you have those, you know, components that you can use. And you know the spacing, everything is set. As you can see, once I just leave it there, it's going to align perfectly on there. Because, of course, you want to have the member, okay, there for your seeding at the end there. You can see if I pick there, okay, very, very helpful, okay. The repeating details, so I can go ahead and make use of that. Click there and click on modify so this is tip number two that you can use now in the other direction of course you can now just use lines click on detail line pick the line from there i'll just use medium and you just want to show that you have also you know the the timber in the other direction just like that okay so make make sure that you make use of the repeating details okay in the same way you can also use the repeating details on the roof there, assuming that these are, you know, towers. You can still go to annotate right there, component, uh, repeating details. So let me try to find it. So you see right here we have clay towers. Okay, these are repeating details again. If I just click on it, I just want to demonstrate, of course, this one, this is not for, the roof was not meant for clay towers, but I just want to show that if that is the roof and you want to show it in section you can pick that make sure that you go in the other direction because it was right okay and then you are able to place it like that you know like that if if you are using towels for your for your roof so you can go ahead within there select on it and edit it select on it click on edit there and you are able to you know to change the the layout roof from here and also the spacing okay as you can see from there so I'll just delete that one. Just be mindful that you have, you know, the towers also in terms of repeating details. Okay, now if I just go back there, let me just show you another tip that you can use. You see that I have the hatch there for the topo, but if I go back to, to that detail, there's nothing here. Okay, so what you need to do, make sure that under the massing inside, then under the settings there, hatch, okay. If I just click there, you see that is the earth and go under the the cut pattern, click there and make sure that you pick, you know, the earth. Okay, then click on OK, apply, OK, apply, OK, click outside. You see that I have it, but it's quite dense. It's because of the scale, but I will not change. You can go ahead and change, you know, the, the scale. All right, so that's how you, let me just quickly do that because it doesn't look right. Just click there once again, then click there, then just edit there. Then from here, let me just try to put one there. Click OK. 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 Apply. And click on OK. It doesn't seem to change, but I think it's OK. You can still go ahead and, you know, make it, you know, larger there. OK. So another tip that I want to show you, let me go back there, see that we still have, you know, the fill there, okay, right there. So what you can do, you can go back there and still go to annotate there, then go to region. We have the, the, field, the field region, then I'll just click there. Then from here, again, I said you can load this and also download from the internet, but for me, I'm just going to use this one as the fill for that one just click there then from here i can maybe use a spline for the bottom one click there then i'll start from here and no i don't want it to be of course it's, it has to be an even just like that I'll just demonstrate on one section here click there then on top just pick the line then from this point i can pick that one join from there and from there okay then make sure that you've picked this is just a field region okay you can click on edit there and click from here as you can see if i just click inside there and click that you see that i have it right here these are just field patterns okay which you can load from your library download from the internet and load them there okay so you can load any kind of pattern that you want to you know to show graphically there just click on okay apply okay 
then just click on the green check mark outside there you see that i have it right there now you can still change the scale all right if you want to do if i go back there you see that that is how i was able to place it like that so this way you are able to complete your detailing as you can see maybe one thing i just want to mention on the trust there there are two ways that you can use if you want for me i just use lines if i don't want to model you know sometimes in revit you don't have to model everything okay it depends on what the client wants and what you want to do and what you know is easy for you to do okay so for me i just use lines again if you want to know how to you know to model your trusses make sure that you check within my channel there is there is a lesson there is a tutorial for creation of trusses though so it's for steel structure make sure that you replace the the steel members with timber the procedure is the same but for me i just use lines just go to annotate detail line I, I just once i click on detail line there click modify i just pick the line from there then i simply use the lines and the way we just do it in autocad okay think for that uh, for the trusses like for a project like this one this is what i simply do okay just like that of course i'm just drawing the lines at random you can go ahead and you know model just using the lines and also offset you can see that all these are lines so this way you are able to you know to finish up your section like this i think i've touched all the areas as you can see from here now for the for the lintels again right here if you want you can model your beam within your you know your your, your file but again as i said it's not always necessary what you can do just go on top there go to annotate then go to region field region from there under the properties i can search for concrete i think i have concrete right there then i'll just pick the concrete from there and let me just use a rectangle and you can you know specify the height but i'll just place it there click on finish and you see that i have it right there and i can copy it and place where i want it to be okay i've actually placed it here yeah this is where i want it to be for this other if you want you can simply go ahead and copy or just model so this way you should be able to finish you know adding all the details as you wish so i just want to ask you if you like the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel in this channel i'll be uploading you know architectural you know lessons structural lessons i'll also be uploading lessons on robot structure analysis and also advanced steel including tecla structure designer so go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified okay once i upload some new videos